next up. Group A, race four, Coulthard versus Christensen. They. I think that may well mean mathematically that Coulthard will not progress. He'll still have one more race to do, but I think that puts Christensen almost definitely through to the next round. How close was that, though? If that Tom had Christensen long on the near side getting the victory. If had a slightly longer bonnet. <laughs> if only he had a slightly longer bonnet. So that's moved the barrier, and I think if it's moved considerably, race control can hand him a five-second penalty. So we'll find out very soon whether, even if he crosses the line first, if he's got a penalty. So I wonder if we'll see a new name in our list of champion of champions. Well, we've, we've got the potential to do so this year. Last couple of years, we've had Vettel, Montoya and Coulthard. Coulthard is, looks like he's out. Montoya isn't even here. Uh, and Coulthard back in 2014. Roman Grosjean isn't here, Sebastian Ogier. So I've got a feeling we're going to see a new name. We have to go quite far down the list uh, to find anyone. Yeah, I think the only person is Vettel. who yeah. could be a returning champion. Just for clarity, if you can't pick out the flags, the black car is the Mexican flag and the white car is the Team GB flag with the Scottish helmet. Salt tire. Yeah, on uh, David Coulthard's head. This weekend, and what a brilliant matchup. And look at how much Pato is working that steering wheel, soaring at it, absolutely throwing it around. These, these things aren't designed to always be slightly out of control, but that is exactly how you have to drive them. Having spoken to the drivers, you've always got to be on the edge. One later. But that was the fight for honors of winning Group A. Absolutely. So it helps you in your seeding for the quarterfinals to win the group. So it wasn't just academic that they were both going through. TK has smartly done himself a big favor there, as you can see him sporting a closed face helmet, unusually, uh, and he's made it through as the winner of Group A, as far as I can work it out. Or not. Now, the, um, the Aerial Atom Cups that we're about to see, and we just saw a little um, explainer of what they look like, and they're tiny, not to 60 in 2.9 seconds, top speed 145 miles per hour, but power to weight ratio, they're 445 brake horsepower per ton, two litre four cylinders, they're brilliant things, they made their race champions debut in 2014, and here we go, so this could be a decisive matchup now, Yeah, because uh, we know that Degrassi is, is out of this group, so New Garden, whatever happens, has got to win this race. That's impressive, it just shows that the quality has risen to the top, because they were so evenly matched. One tenth of a second separating them in the semi final, but that confirms that Benito Guerra is a very, very happy man and he will face Loic Duval in the final. Wow, first blood to Benito Guerra. And I think it was all about his car control there. He just got the sweet spot between absolutely throwing it on the edge of clipping barriers and delivering a perfect lap to take the win. Wow. Well played, Benito. So 1-0. Wow. Unbelievable. How did he do it? Just under the radar, just steadily taking care of business throughout the group stage. And then all the way through to the final and does it without needing to take it to a decider. 